In this video we will cover the following topics. Adding a vacuum pod from a drawing. Adding a vacuum pod from a DXF file. How to save a custom table template. Start a new AlphaCam drawing. Insert the Titan table template. Create the vacuum pod outline geometry. Go to the Alpha Cam Layers window by selecting View, Show Project Manager page, and click on Layers from the drop down menu. Expand the user layers, right click on the pod grid layer, and select active from the drop down menu. Use the offset command to create the pod grid lines. The offset distance used for the grid lines is determined by the manufacturer specs. Select the Machine tab. Clamps and Fixtures. Define clamps and fixtures. Click on the perimeter of the pod. Fill in the parameters as shown here and click on OK. Select a reference point, usually the center of the pod and finish. Click on the 3D view icon to make sure the pod has been extruded. Before saving the file, the newly created pod must be grouped to allow the grid and the perimeter to be moved together. To do this, click on the Edit tab and click on Group. Select the perimeter and the grid, and then Finish. Now the pod can be moved as one unit. You can overwrite the current template with the new one, or create a custom template. To overwrite the existing template, click on Save, and then navigate to the following location. Click on the table template in the list for your machine, and then click Save. This will become the new template, with the additional pod, that will be used when inserting the template into a drawing. To save the template in a different location, click on save and navigate to a location of your choice. Save the file using a name that you will remember, and click save. Close the drawing. Click on the My Part Config tab, My Machine Profiles button, and choose the Titan tab. Click on the folder next to the Table Template field. Navigate to the location you saved the file, highlight it, and click Open. Click on Save All and Close. This will become the new template, with the additional pod, that will be used when inserting the template into a drawing. Open a new drawing, and insert the Titan table template. Use input CAD from the Home tab and import the vacuum pod DXF file. Delete any geometries that are not needed.
If the pot is drawn in millimeters, it will have to be scaled to inches. Use the scaling function with a scale factor of 1 divided by 25.4. Expand user layers and right click on the pod grid layer. Select active from the drop down list. Open the change function, and set parameters to change from old layer, to active user layer. Click on OK, and select the geometries that make up the pod grid, and then finish. Right click on the pod grid layer and click on active to deactivate the layer. Expand clamps and fixtures. And right click on clamp slash fixtures in the sub menu. Click on active to activate the layer. Open the change function and set parameters to change from old layer to active user layer. Click on OK and select the geometries that make up the perimeter of the pod, and then finish. Right click on the clamp slash fixtures in the sub menu, and click on active to deactivate the layer. Open the machine tab, clamps and fixtures, and then define clamps and fixtures. Select the perimeter of the pod geometry, and fill out the parameters as shown here. Click OK. Pick a reference point, usually somewhere in the center of the geometry, and finish. Check to make sure the pod has been extruded. Go to the edit tab and click on group. Select all geometries defining the pod, and finish. Save the template as detailed in the previous section of this video.